Hi and welcome back again to another video of photo transfer to wood. You're going to need your wood obviously. If you guys that uh, see my videos will remember this from last time. You're going to need fantastic gloss heavy gel. That's important because that's going to hold down your photo to the wood. A bit of the old Mod Podge afterwards. That just to coat it over, protect it, give it a nice canvas feel. Something to put it on with. And the all-important photograph got this gorgeous little chap to do today remember it's in reverse image when you get your photocopy done and this is onto laser paper obviously when you transfer it down like this it's going to be that way around so just be careful how you do that now the only problem we're going to find with this one and it's, uh, it's experimental when you do white it's not so clever on wood you'll actually get all the wood coming around so I would basically say when this is finished this chap's going to be here and they just have a nice wooden grainy surround. Okay, so let's crack on and uh, see what we can do. So first of all, get your heavy gel. We're going to cover the wood with this totally. Don't be frightened, there's nothing to be concerned about. And crack on with it. I'm not going to bore you, I'm going to try and speed this up. And you just cover the wood like so. Give it a nice firm coating. Don't be too concerned about it going over the edge. What I wouldn't do is wipe it while it's wet. It'd be better off letting it dry. And what I'd do is get sandpaper and rub it off. Now I've made this print slightly bigger than the wood. That is only so we can uh, sort it out afterwards. Get a nice edge. I'm going to the edge of the wood on this one, which is different. Normally I make a little board around it of wood. And then you can stain it to any cover you want. Colour you want, should I say. But today we're going to go right to the edge because there's so much white on it and I personally I think this white's just going to disappear altogether. So it's going to be far too much showing through already with the wood. Okay so we've done the medium gel. I've, I've put the print down because the phone actually stopped halfway through and said I didn't have enough memory. So you've missed, missed, you've missed the exciting bit of actually putting the picture down. But as you can see it's all on now. Rub it out, get rid of all the mail bubbles right to the edges and now that's good to go now I'll, I'll leave it overnight don't get rushed and think oh I'm going to rub it off in an hour's time because you'll just make a mess of it so we're going to leave that now and we'll come back tomorrow okay welcome back we've left it overnight to dry as you can tell I've sanded all the edges down I think it's nice and crisp and hopefully we're good to go all you need now is some water doesn't matter if it's hot cold medium whatever suits you and all we're going to do now is wet the back of the picture and get rid of that paper and hopefully leave us a lovely picture behind. Now I like to do this in 10 minute sections, leave it, you come back the next day, do a bit more, leave it, don't try and do it in one go because it does uh, wear the end of your fingers away. And I do use my fingers, you might want to try a soft cloth or a sponge, but uh, personally I think it's a bit, uh, bit dangerous. So get your water on. And all we're going to do is rub away, rub away, rub away. I mean, you can see that guy coming through straight away, can't you? And we just want to take the film off the back. It does take a while, and I'm not going to obviously do the full thing, because put a glass eye to sleep, you know what I mean? So, but just keep going. And you see there, look, that paper's coming off already. Slowly, so don't get too carried away. Don't be too keen because you will. You can easily just rub an eye away, a nose, a mouth, and that's your uh, picture ruined. So you're going to have to start all over again. But do the full picture, let it soak in, and just slowly, slowly. The reason why you do it next to the sink is because you're going to get all this everywhere and it does make a mess. But we just keep on that. Gradually, 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 slowly away. I don't know if you can see there. I shall bring it up in a minute. If I just take it over to the side that I said would disappear where all the white is. See the little guys coming through already? And over there. Let me say, it would be better off next to the sink, 
because you do get a lot. And if you get bored, just leave it. It doesn't matter if it dries out and you come back another day. That's no problem whatsoever. But you do find your fingertips get a bit uh, sore after a while. So I want to show that little bit just to get you going. You can see what's happening here. And all you're doing is taking the paper off the back and that print's going to be permanently on that wood. But if you remember me saying about the white background, you can more or less see that's that's totally gone now. So all you've got is the wood. Now if I can bring this a bit closer, and I do apologise for the uh, phone in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, we're about finished here. In general, I'd say it took me about 45 minutes to clean this off. Now, you think you've got it all off, let it dry out, and then tomorrow you'll have a white film over it. So just get your water on and just go through it all again. After a while, you get to feel the wood, how smooth it is, and where the bits of paper are still sticking. So work on it, take your time, but then when it's done, I don't know if you can see there, you can see how wet that's getting with the wood. With the water should I say let it dry out completely and then we'll come back and do the final thing so work on it go slowly don't get too carried away so that's all nice and dry it's all cleaned up the last stage we've got to do now is put on the Mod Podge now all this does is put a coating over it and just makes it stand out better from the wood same again don't be frightened of it just get it on and basically just cover the full picture like so try and get it as smooth as you can because when it does dry out you can actually see the brush stroke so you want to get it something like that nice and nice and coated doesn't matter how thick but you don't want to overdo it and sometimes if it's dried up pop another one on top Okay, so we're going to cover this completely. Okay, so we've let that dry. It's all nice and clear. And that's more or less, we're finished now. If I can just, can you see that nice shining gloss on it? Lovely coating. And if you get really close up, you can actually see the grain of the wood there. And it looks like the little chap's actually behind the grain. All the white's disappeared. What I will do now, and I have noticed, if you see the side of the wood, how white it is, I'm just going to throw a little bit of Mod Podge on that, just so it stains it all the way around. I'm not going to leave this uh, any colourant on it at all. I quite like that one as it is. And that's more or less finished now. So I hope you enjoyed the little video. Have a go, give it a whirl. Thank you for watching. Till next time.